Hello, I'm Simon Roth, the developer of Maya, and this is Alpha 0.32, released this week. I'm just putting a quick video together to show you some of the features of the build, how the kind of alpha's coming together as a whole, some of the things that you can do, some of the things you can check out. Alright, so we've got our space colony. Um, just to move around, just press Control and move the mouse to rotate camera, um, and then WSAD just to move around. So pretty much everything else is on the mouse, apart from building some other things which we'll have to do later in the video. Um, so just mouse over things if you want to find out about them, click on them to track them, and that will allow you just to see kind of the camera will follow. Um, so first thing we need to do is we need to start get building, um, we need building materials. So we will dig out using our imps and some minerals. Go and pick them up in a sec. Pick them up. We'll take them back to the storage room while they'll, they'll be stored. Place them somewhere about the way so they don't mess up the pathfinding too much. Um, so now we can play, build our workshop. You need to build a door to it and then uh, use the debug command to build the door because there's currently no way to build a door without a workshop, so it's a chicken egg situation. Um, what you need to do is then uh, build a workshop table, which is the core of the building economy, um, but you can build other items like workshop drills and if you place lights in there, um, the room will become more efficient because they'll be able to see what they're doing. Um, they will just use the room more. So your colonists will eventually come in and decide that they really want to um, start building stuff. So she'll build the table now. And then she'll start building the other things in the room. So this will give us the ability to uh, move on with the rest of the economy. So next we need to start thinking about how we're going to collect some water. Um, when you're trying to survive you need to think about air, food, water. Water is one of the most important things. We've got quite a lot of air in the base currently anyway. So what we will do is we'll find a nice area outside. There's two kilometers square to, to place stuff, but you probably want it quite close to your base starting out because you can need to defend it. Um, there's a lot of weather, so we'll need repair and kind of maintenance and stuff. So we've built some water stills. Um, these will allow us to collect water passively, no electricity needed. Um, and as you see, they collect precipitation. The more it snows, the more it rains. The more groundwater is, the more they'll collect up. So we'll go inside and we'll notice that the lights are kind of emitting this kind of very low kind of red tone. Um, and that's an indication that there's actually not much energy. Um, that shows that it's that there's a currently a blackout, so you don't have you're you're running off reserve power, so you really don't want to be doing that, so you want to get some energy generation. So we'll place some more work lights outside and debug build them, just as a kind of indication of when our power comes on. So if we place some wind turbines now. So we've just debug built them and you can see the lights come on immediately, lighting up the snow lovely. Um, and if you mouse over you can see the wattage put out by them, um, which is simulated using actual kind of real figures of the wind. And oh, that's a, a meteorite impact has happened in the, uh, in the distance. Oh, and that's now caused an earthquake. Um, yeah, the game's a very, like, very active planet. Um, if we place the flags, they also tie into the wind simulation, so you can give you a good indication of what the wind's doing. Also, the sound, um, everything in the game's kind of linked up. There's no, no things which are just there for show. You can, you can tell a lot about the game just by listening, or by looking, and if, if you can't do that, you can mouse over to find more details. So if we look at the solar rays, um, they're generating electricity based on the amount of light hitting them. Um, so don't place them in shadows, obviously. Um, but as the sun rises, they're, they're the kind of energy output will go up. Obviously, they're not much used during the night time. Um, but that they're a reasonably solid source of power and not too fragile. Alright, so now we've got some power. We can go start thinking about kind of food. Um, we've got chickens walking around the base, um, but that's not killing them just yet. So we're going to build um, a hydroponics room and we're going to fill it with some fruit trees. And the uh, colonists will get on with building that. Okay. Right, so we're going to quickly cut because I uh, I made a video that was far too long, so <laughs> you really don't 
don't want to see me playing the game for about an hour. Um, so yeah, as, as we're back outside, we're looking at some wind turbines. Um, and it's a bit of a sort of storm going on at this point, with effects. Um, but yeah, the problem with renewable energy is it it's really intermittent. So you need some way to generate kind of more secure source of power. Because I mean, if you look at the clouds going over the solar panels, it's going to reduce it. So place a radiation container which is going to build reactors in. But also you can build another thing in them, which is supercapacitors. Capacitors, much like just any standard capacitor, they store energy. Um, and these store a lot of energy and will absorb excess from the simulated grid in the game. And so once they've, they've stored energy, if there's a drop in the grid, say it's night time and you've got solar panels, they'll feed back into the grid, keeping your base alive for a few more minutes, uh, which is pretty important to have a, a decent running base. So again, we'll, um, we'll now place the med bay, which is important because everything in the game is simulated and therefore there are a lot of things which can kill your colonists. Um, and so you want to keep them in good health. So we'll place some uh, meat trolley to put some injury strips. Basic treatment of people. So yeah, when I say the people simulated, like everything about the people simulated, we don't have health bars, but we have what would be effectively like the sensors on their bodies and suits that will kind of give you information. So here you can see his, his skin temperature and how he's breathing and his moderate. He's, he's, um, his perspiration is kind of moderate. He's in a suit, so it's harder for them to like lose heat and things like that, and it's more effort for them. And in, in the upcoming build, there will be death, um, so you'll, you'll need to start thinking about their health more. Um, they can die from things like dehydration, um, exhaustion, hypothermia, hypothermia, and kind of other diseases, and just kind of blunt impact. So that's your kind of thing. Um, so yeah, build lights, because um, also simulating like the basic psychology, so they'll be happy and sad, and different light colors will affect how they uh, live. And obviously, you've got a nice lighting engine, so it makes game look nice and pretty. So, and you you want to build some atmosphere generators, otherwise everyone in your base will asphyxiate. These generate warm, hot air, you, you'll see it kind of start pouring out the top in a minute, there you go. And uh, build some beds, otherwise you'll get people like, falling over and dying from exhaustion. Um, couches are also good for this, this help them most, so help them psychologically not come and sit down. You see the colonists already come in because he's kind of interested in being this room. Um, but yeah, I. I won't go on forever because I've already been talking straight for eight minutes. But yeah, the, the, the builds are looking good. It's solid. It's not too crashy now. It's running on most hardware and running quite quickly. And we've just put out the pre-orders and been greenlit. So if you're interested in the game, uh, check us out.